Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hilton Center of the Las Vegas Ring for the unification of the WBC IBF 140 pound champion, WBC Super Lightweight Champion of the World, Julio Cesar Chavez. The gold medalist in the 23rd Olympiad in Los Angeles, he is the current IBF Junior Welterweight Champion of the World, Meldrick Taylor. Watch the low blow, the rubber punches, okay? Shake hands, good luck. Chavez scored with a left hook. Taylor with a left, after he missed with a right to... Right hand lead by Chavez. Taylor flurries in return. Round one was a very busy one for Meldrick Taylor. He threw ninth. He started slowly against Sammy Fuentes here in November. To the side of Chavez's body. Damage with his left hook. Between his mouth guard. Good right hand in. Beginning to land with more consistency. Right hand leads. Doing the damage for Chavez now. A solid left inside. What you see here is actually... That was a slip, not a knockdown. Taylor lands a vicious right hand. Taylor still throwing far more punches. Because of his speed, Meldrick is starting and finishing most exchanges. This is another very good round for Meldrick Taylor. He's yet to be seen. Meldrick trading. Meldrick Taylor based on clean punching. Good right hand lead by Taylor. Taylor, fine fashion. Now get out. Solid left hand by Taylor and he moves back out. Called it thunder meets lightning. Lightning. And there was a good straight left by Taylor. Very good performance by Meldrick Taylor. He's been doing what he needs, needs to do. Boxing, just boxing. He right hand lead by Chavez lands. Taylor comes back with an uppercut. Chavez is looking for Meldrick Taylor's head. That's not an easy target. Again, Jim, this kind of fight, this inside fight, it wears a fighter down. Taylor comes back with a bristling uppercut. And another flurry for Meldrick. Chavez landed three solid left hooks inside. He can get still exchanging to the body effectively. They trade punches inside, and Meldrick seemed to wobble for just a second. Taylor moving better now than in right. right hand lead, solid on the face. This is a masterful. 60 to 54 on points based on clean punches. Solid left hand by Mel. And that gets back to the fact, Ray, that Chavez has not done damage to the body like he used to. He hurt Chavez just then. Chavez buckled. When two guys stand toe to toe like this and throws these kind of punches, how to get out? Chavez continues to try to come back with the left of the body. Solid left hook inside by Taylor. And who's sitting next to me? Good overhand. Chavez landed a left. Taylor flurries furiously in return. Chavez does not fight this. This is not his fight. Oh, yeah, he doesn't want to pay the price. A right and a left by Chavez, and more blood comes out of Taylor's mouth. Taylor begins to... Crowd chanting Mexico, Mexico, trying to lift. Now there's something you never saw, Meldrick Taylor motioning Chavez to come to him. As if to say, come here, you're an easy target. They know how desperate the situation is. Taylor lands a right hand lead to start the round off. Taylor went straight for Chavez. Taylor not to give Chavez an unnecessary chance to get back into this. Look at the speed of Meldrick Taylor's flurry. Oops, and he's being out punched two or three to one. And the left hook to the body is supposed Triple to be Chavez's hook. great weapon. Oh, Taylor landing. Chavez with a right hand that woke up the crowd for a second. Look at slightly rejuvenated Chavez steps in. Envelope, please. Larry, I've got it 90 to 81. Nine rounds to nothing affair. In every round so far, Taylor has thrown more punches, landed more. He's carried out George Benton's game plan to perfection. Whoa, beautiful Trading punches in. Brilliant stuff from Meldrick Taylor. Taylor has to watch out. I'm seeing him being hit by these left hooks. He needs to watch out for those shots. 
Blood again from the mouth and the nostrils. Both the eyes beginning to close. Chavez is coming on. And Chavez again seems to wobble slightly as Taylor lands at will. Chavez shows a commitment which is rare and exclusive to great champions. Watch your head. Keep him up. As round 11 comes toward a close, Julio Cesar Chavez must begin to contemplate the reality. Harold. One, Meldrick Taylor, I think he's won his way to a unanimous decision. Meldrick Taylor said before the fight, he'll take me to a higher place. He's and there he right has. now. He's there right now, Larry. No question about it. Hard to get out. That is a tired Meldrick Taylor. More pawing than punching now, at a time when he needs the best. I can't believe it! Unbelievable! Richard Un Steele stopped the fight with fewer than five seconds to go! This is one of the most unusual calls by a referee in the whole history of the sport. If he gets up, he probably wins the fight. I cannot believe they stopped that fight. Referee Richard Steele stops the bout at two minutes, 58 seconds. The winner and now holder of both the WBC and IBF 140 pound championships. Wearing red, white, and blue trunks, a Meldrick Taylor with white and red trim. Cesar Chavez. Look, both of you, turn around. Some questions going in. It, does he still have the skills, the aggressiveness, the chin? Is 64 maybe higher? Some say he's doing nothing like right that. Left hand. His first round was yesterday. He doesn't want to fight inside. Meltrick Taylor on the offense. Which not many people realize he had his body hurt. Taylor. Very close to Randall. Julio Cesar Chavez, but don't you think he's been at it 90 some odd fights? In the rematch. Four and a half years later. Trick tell you heard the Nevada. Uh, four guys in that corner. Here we go. I transformed my body inside out. Will flurry by action from Julio Cesar Chavez to the body. Key to the Taylor attack, but he also here. But the surprising part was that Chavez never came on strong. And to put him back, Taylor back on his heels a little bit. Opposition then go in for the finish in the later rounds. We haven't seen much of that here. And even though he won, although the scorecard's up to the point of the unintentional but action, looking to press the attack. Right hand, but some spirit here. He's just kind of letting the other guy take the play. And then coming back, there was a good left portion. Now that's Chavez. I'll tell you what, Mildred Taylor see a little extra tension in Julio's face this round. He coming out, coming out here to do a little change that, but Taylor won't let him do it. Taylor pouring it on. Taylor misses with a wild left hand. No counter though by Chavez. Body shots by Chavez, but having could be a mistake because Meldrick is really trained well. He's trained well. So take a point away from Meldrick Taylor here in round three for the foul. Blow, down by the Miller, blow by Julio Cesar Chavez. Good right hand at the bell and after the bell, Taylor, look out now. I mean, that's too that's too far after the bell. You know, today's group of low blows have been a little unusual. They haven't been head on. Different looks, movement, in and out. I'll do the Taylor because, boy, he's got it for Chavez. Chavez got a left hook in there, but back comes. Said about what happened four and a half years ago. But right now. Oh, look out. That was a slip. That's a good job. Indicated it early. What they're doing is not taking the punishment for the body. Taylor looking inspired, but now Chavez. Look at this. It's water these days. And they don't clean it up there. You can see the foot go right out. Rushes in for round five. Yeah. And Chavez is beginning to land with more frequency now. Oh, a right by Meldrick Taylor. what the script calls for, a big finish. Seems to be waiting too long. 
Just waiting, waiting. Oh, furious exchange. I'll tell you what, Julio Cesar Chavez walked in and showed show some of that little hand speed that he had when he was young. Yes. Nicely, but most of this is getting blocked by Chavez. He's waiting and laying a little. He's been fighting bigger oh, guys. Come on, come on. And it, this was his young self. This is a young Melvin Taylor. He used to play so much. Not playing inside, ripping up a cuts, pushing. Chavez first. He certainly has made the oh. he was out of me. Oh, again. Only a matter of seconds. Frantic, frantic rally here by Meldrick Taylor. Well, he feels to. Travis can't fight going backwards. He's got that fight hard, Bob. He's got a point taken away. He at least get an, an even combination against the ropes. Body shots. Relentless pressure now by Chavez. Like they're playing a waiting game. Taylor looks like he might be a little tired. From 1990, it is a war. Staggered is Taylor. He's I buckled him. Stop action. Right hand by Chavez. Oh. But Taylor. Unbelievable. You don't punch with a puncher. Toe to toe in the center. Round six. Maybe the round of the year. That turned up the fireball and Chavez gets mad. He got his shots with stupendous sixth round. A little fighting. He was just getting confident. Again, it's a slip. Third time. He's got the leg. Well, you, can, you can just see the difference after one round. Of As they're puffing up again, as they did in that first fight. And he's bleeding from the mouth. Oh. It's an instant replay. Oh, what shots by Meldrick Taylor to the head of Chavez. I'll tell you what. There's no quitting Meldrick Taylor, that's for sure. Bleeding from the mouth. He's trying to get the corner. He's still staying on the inside and punching him. He's not moving. Very fresh despite the punishment he's absorbing. Let's see if Taylor goes back. He hurts now. Now, it's now Chavez going to the head. Down goes Taylor. Seven. Looking to finish Taylor off. Mills Lane steps in. It's a bell. Two judges. Had the score even when the Tanner buckling and he misses bang and his legs had gone two rounds before. Cesar Chavez.